What is going on guys? My name is Drumback and I'm from One Reviews here with another episode of reaction to Bartender Glass of God, episode 7 of Bartender's Resolve. Um Honestly, for some reason, I'm drawing a big big blank on a lot of last episode. Uh I believe it was that uh, that marriage that that one coworker was doing. Um I remember that being part of the second part. I don't really remember much of the first part. I'm drawing I'm drawing a blank. Sorry, my mind has been just all over the place in the last couple days. So apologize. Um I apologize. But yeah, so like I said, this show has been a vibe. The only thing I wish is that we got more into the cocktail making aspect. But this is fine. I mean, to be fair, bartender, you would think, is dealing with being a bartender, which is exactly what it's doing. He, it's him, people watching, seeing what the customer wants and what the hatch, what the customer actually really needs. Just some really cool things. Uh, I have no idea where this is going to end up. I believe this is only twelve episodes. Could be wrong, uh, but yeah, I'm ready to jump into this episode. So, uh, for, so without further ado, let's jump into episode seven of Bartender Glass of Guard. Start in three, two, one. Let's jam. And I want to drink again, although it might not be a good idea right now. Okay, well, champagne, I've always seen it's more of a celebratory thing. So a Japanese cocktail or Japanese drink. That makes sense. I love that they're just using them as study material. Because you're so good. Oh, why? You know the drill. Does his heart not in it? What year? What year of Yamazaki? Yep, that's all they need. Oh, bro, you didn't you didn't sniff it. You have a sniffer. Oh, I mean, I'm I, I'm I'm sure you know what it smells like, but there's just something about it. If you're given a sniffing glass, you sniff the whiskey. An accident.
did he finally like You can't teach, yeah. It's something you learn to yourself. It's a, it's a metaphorical thing. Studying the books, studying them. Well, he mean he's he was already a bartender, so. I have a feeling, like, it's too early in in this episode for it to just immediately change his mind. He's going to be... But wasn't it nighttime? Bro, why are you wearing sunglasses? That's my question. That's a lot of different ones. Is it the noise? Singapore sling. Even I've heard. Okay, I've heard of that one. I've never, never tried it. I'm trying to figure out what he did. He's at the service. Mm, it, it was the shaking. Keep watching. So, okay, so I'm assuming that, that the shaking, um, using the shaker, um, was causing him to hurt. I mean, you saw him grab the bridge of his nose. Although, granted, usually when it's a 
when it's a lot of noise, I, I usually put my hands to my temples, but to each their own. Picky tech, in my opinion, I don't know, maybe. By the way, pot stickers, delicious. <laughs> Not going well. I would love to practice again. The funny thing is, I'm drinking this um, zero calorie sparkling flavored water. I could even think of a couple things I can make with this because of the taste. You know, they showed, I mean, I sh in the very first episode, they showed our main character. Like, he's not really all there outside of bartending. I wouldn't know, like, of other than uh, the drinks that I normally drink, what it would be. I've never heard of creme de cassis. I believe that's how you pronounce it, creme de cassis. Because uh, creme de cassis seems weird. Each of them will chase slightly different, figuring out which one is the best. I'm sorry, it's just that English wasn't I wasn't expecting that. Ow. No. Yeah, so it, just making a cocktail for anyone, it's kind it's very, very objective. Dude, I would love to like see or meet someone who can psychoanalyze me just from a couple minutes. It would be kind of scary, but I would love to know how I come across and see if it's actually what I feel, if you know what I mean. Because I think I put on a good enough face, so.
I'm assuming he's dead. It looked like a vodka and tonic. Gin is normally clear. I should have thought of that. I don't know why I was thinking of vodka. A gin and tonic is really good. My favorite gin to mix with tonic is probably Empress. It's a really deli it's a delicious ton uh, gin, not tonic. Lafroy. I swear to God, if he makes a penicillin. If he makes a penicillin, I'm going to lose my mind. It's the only, I mean, I'm sure that you can use Lafroy in other things, but that's the only thing I can think of you use Lafroy in. One drink, please. That's a great thing to say to your son. Cherry blossoms. I've never had Japanese gin. I would love to try it.
Now, what if he says, I want you to be the bartender at my house, uh, my, not my house, my hotel? No. That's understandable. I felt, but yeah. Yeah, I thought it wouldn't, it would actually be less likely for that to really happen. Very interesting to end right there. A challenge. Ooh, are we getting another bar off? All right. So this episode actually really felt like it's showing its age. This feels like the original series in a way. So the original series came out many years ago. Well, many for anime standards. And it you could feel like that was a product of its, of its time. And this really feels like it was part of that. And just in terms of the tonality, how the scene progressed, it just felt very older timeline-wise that you would see. You wouldn't really see this in a normal anime, I feel like. I don't, I don't know. It's hard to explain. That's just how I feel. Um, there wasn't much on this one. Um... I think at the end of the day, I'm going to have to realize that this show is not going to get really too much into the cocktail making aspect, but more of the people watching aspect or hospice, as they called it. And that's OK. It's still a good vibe. I would probably say this is my least favorite episode so far. But I, I, it would have definitely been like a for sure if the father had just said, yeah, OK, you can do what you want, because that's not a natural thing. That's a that's something you'll see in anime or in fiction. Normal people wouldn't talk like this. Like if it's some if you were the head of a hotel and your heir is supposed to follow in your footsteps, you've trained them to do so. They are set up for that. Very rarely are you going to deviate from that path. So I am glad that the father is like sticking to his guns. I'm sure there's going to be more of a reason why there's going to be something to change his mind, but it's got to be a very believable reason. This just making a really good glass and being like, hey, I, I do have the skills. It actually kind of reinforces this point. It's like, I did. I sent you to train. You did learn these skills. I, I knew it was the right decision. And I sent you there for the sole purpose to, for you to take over. And you're proving my point that me sending you to a certain spot was a good idea. So it makes sense for him to be like, no, why would I just say, hey, you, you did what I wanted you to do, which was to own your skills. So why would I say, screw it? It makes sense. So I'm, I'm, I am curious to see what he's going to do to go through i don't know I, I i feel like the best way would have been to you know kind of work for the bar as a bartender in the place maybe part-time i don't know i don't know we'll see next episode is going to be interesting but yeah anyways thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you guys are in the comment section below as always and i will see you guys saturday for kaiju number eight since i am dropped i have dropped konosuba and i feel like i'm not missing much which is a bit of a shame but yeah anyways thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys next time peace